Hi and welcome to Meet the Professionals. This is a series where I sit down with various people from different industries so we can find out a bit more about what they do. Today I'm chatting with Carly from End Dreams. Hi Carly. <laughs> Hello. Um, Carly, could we start off by you just telling us your job title and a little kind of overview of what you do? Absolutely. I am Senior Brand Manager at End Dreams. So essentially my role is looking after all of the brand, marketing and paid media side of the business, specifically on the publishing team. Oh, okay. Have you always worked in, is it more sort of games that you've worked in or has it always been more sort of brand and publishing? Um, I actually started off my career as a writer working in magazines, hard magazines back in the day, yeah. paper ones. <laughs> um, and I sort of got a background in content from that. Um, mm -hmm. And that sort of led me into a career in video games and online marketing. Um, okay. I've always been a big fan of video games and yeah. actually being able to combine my love of creating content and creating marketing with a subject I've, I'm really passionate about has been brilliant. Yeah, perfect combination of the two. Nice. And um, what would an sort of average day consist of for you? What sort of things are on your agenda? Um, it's actually very different day to day. Um, when you're leading up to a product launch, it's really busy. You're handling multiple tasks, whether that's designing what a trailer looks like or putting out online advertising. Um, but when it's not busy season when you've got a game coming out it's more of the sort of analytical side of things so looking into business intelligence deciding what information is really useful for us to create further marketing mm -hmm. um, so for example at the moment i'm looking into our youtube advertising and exactly which channels are performing best for us so whether that is um, you know, for our target audience or our more tertiary audiences, looking yeah. at what is performing, what's making them convert, what's making them buy our games, and then using that to actually develop what our games and our campaign plans look like moving forward. Okay, it sounds like you have a lot to do with sort of the, the process from start to finish in the sense of, you know, the conception kind of right through to how you're going to promote it and sort of sell it. Which yeah, is really cool. exactly. With with such a variety then, Carly, what sort of skills would you say that someone in your position would need? Both sort of personal skills, but also practical kind of hands-on skills. Yeah, there's um, a lot of relationship management that goes on. Um, you're working with the publishing team, the development team, exter external agencies, um, YouTube creators, partners, first party. So a lot of the skills you need are around that. Yeah. Um, being empathetic as well is really important, um, particularly when it's a high pressure environment, when you've got a game coming out, being understanding of the pressures other people are under yes. is really important. Um, but in terms of the hard skills, um, my background is actually in photography. Um, okay. That's what I did at college as a HND back in the day. Um, and actually those creative skills are really helpful. It not only helps you visualize how a campaign can come together, but when you're storyboarding a trailer, for example, it really helps you get a vision of what it should look like. Um, yeah. And of course, like any marketing skills um, you can develop, whether that's understanding targeting, analytics, um, campaign management, those kind of things are really important as well. Yeah. Okay, you mentioned you did photography at college. Would you, do you think that you need certain qualifications to get into the role you're in now, or is it more about having experience and know-how sort of on the job? I think it definitely helps if you have a marketing qualification. You'll see a lot of job advertisements ask for a degree in marketing or advertising. Um, however, like I mentioned, I come from a photography background, which is as far away from marketing as you can imagine. Um, but actually, it's about sort of the transferable skills you develop. As long as you're you have an interest in marketing and you're willing to apply yourself and you're able to take skills you've learned elsewhere and really utilize it in the industry. I don't think it necessarily requires you to have a specific marketing degree, just yeah. an interest in the subject you're marketing and mm -hmm. transferable skills to go with it. Yeah, I sort of a lot of myself included working in marketing and friends that sort of not necessarily have a marketing qualification but if something links you know and you sort of find a way and you sort of end up in marketing like oh i'm here and you know it's so 
thing. So yeah, definitely agree. What is your uh, favourite aspect of your job, Carly? What do you enjoy the most? I think probably my favourite aspect um, is working with the different teams. We are a very small, close-knit team, but everyone has their own specialities. So getting to talk with uh, the team that handle the audio for our games is really cool and exciting and seeing how they do their bit of the job and then speaking to the game designers and the concept designers and even you know the the team I work with directly every day I'm learning something new from them nice. they're having that ability to work with people that are really inspiring and can help develop you makes mm -hmm. it feel like you want to get out of bed in the morning this is a yeah. job that I genuinely love doing oh amazing and it must be nice as well to kind of have that full scope of everything you sort of get you say you see a little bit of everything so you have a yeah. idea of what's going on kind of thing. nice what would you say is if anything sort of most challenging about your job sort of something to be mindful of if someone was going to be in your or work towards your position uh, probably the biggest challenge is just how busy it can be. As I mentioned, there's so much going on. Um, but as long as you develop time management skills, that helps massively. Um, whether that is just writing everything down in a list so you know exactly what you need to do, creating yeah. a Gantt chart of all of your tasks and where they sit throughout the day, or just blocking time in your calendar specifically to do activities. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably the hardest thing to deal with, but it is manageable. Yeah. Um, particularly if you can just sort of set some time to say, okay, let me figure out what I need to do. Um, and I think it's the same with everyone in the games industry. Everyone's super busy all the time, um, but everyone has different techniques for handling it. Yeah, nice. Okay. What are you most proud of in your work, Carly, whether it's a game or a certain project you've worked on? What is sort of your biggest achievement? Um, at End Dreams, I would say my biggest achievement is the most recent launch, which was Phantom Cover Ops. Yeah. Um, it was the company's biggest launch to date, plus it has just been publicly one of the biggest VR game launches wow. to date, um, which has been really cool to do. Yeah. Um, before this, I was actually working for 2K Games, um, where I worked on NBA 2K20, um, WWE, all of their products. Um, so any game launch is always a big thing. Um, mm -hmm. I think NBA 2K19 was probably my biggest success there, just seeing the public perception to it. So it's not just yeah. about those game sales. When you see that the public are really enjoying it, they think the game is really high quality, they're having fun with it, you suddenly yes. feel that really great sense of pride. So yeah. going back to what I was saying about everything being busy, the busyness is worth it when you release a game and people actually enjoy and love it you go yeah, yeah. i did that <laughs> yeah, nice yeah really sort of proud of what sort of the team and yourself have put out there nice yeah uh what piece of advice would you give someone carly who's looking into either getting into sort of brand in the gaming industry or just your job role sort of as a whole what what advice would you give them uh i think the biggest piece of advice i ever got was just to try everything, um, particularly in brand and marketing, you're constantly trialing things out, seeing if they work, seeing if they don't. You've got to be willing to try big ideas. They might be a little bit scary, but weigh up the risks and yeah. learn from them as well. If something doesn't work, be able to take a step back from it and go, okay, that didn't work. This is the reason why, and here's what we're going to do next time. Yeah. Um, you know, marketing is constantly changing and evolving and you can be a part of that if you're willing to take those chances and although it is scary you know it is worth it when the payoff happens yeah okay nice right last question for you carly where do you see uh your job role in particular but then possibly the gaming industry and vr as a whole in sort of five to ten years time do you, where do you see the developments what do you see sort of hopefully think gonna happen the gaming industry is constantly evolving. So um, obviously we have the PS5 and the Xbox Series X coming out this year among, you know, super high spec PCs that play games that you can't even imagine yet. 
Um, so I think the games industry is going to be around for a really long time. So if people are looking for a career, the games industry is a great one Good to one, get yeah. into. Um, and I think in sort of five to ten years' time, we're going to see it pushing the boundaries even further. And VR is kind of at the forefront of that. Um, we're seeing things happen in VR that aren't possible in traditional games. Um, we're looking more into augmented reality like you have things like pokemon go which were just the tip of the iceberg yeah. and there's going to be even more things like that in the future both in the ar and vr space mm -hmm. and for myself personally i see myself growing alongside it i love learning i love trying new things and i think in terms of marketing you're going to see just as much development there um yeah. And as, as bad as it sounds, you know, you will see advertising creep into the VR and AR space. There will be opportunities for us to, you know, target people and push ads out and brand our products towards them. Um, so I see myself sort of being at the forefront of that, helping it yeah, grow yeah. and develop and yeah. leading it in a way that people feel more comfortable with advertising yeah. as well. Um, I think one of the biggest things is people go, oh, ads, it's all a bit, you know, people are forcing you to buy stuff. And actually there are ways of doing it which are ethical and correct yeah. and they work with people rather than against them. So I see that being a really big in thing in the future and something that I'm pushing for as well, yeah. making ads more relevant and more yeah. targeted without being aggressive about it. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I really appreciate that. It sounds like such a so much scope and so much within the role that you can have all these different bits and especially you know if you love games then even better sort of thing so guys watching if you have any questions about carly's role or um anything to do with the games vr or end dreams pop them in the comments and we will get back to you but thank you for watching and see you next time